Maybe this is the time to mark the era of Ronaldo, Messi officially closed. But, are we really satisfied, that's new owner this season, when major tournaments at the national team level like Euro or Copa America, are an opportunity for individuals to shine on the path to conquering the most noble individual title, Bolden Ball. But up to now, it seems that no star has made us satisfied with their performance. Let's take a look at the top six players considered to be bright candidates for this title. How is their summer going? After last season ended, Vinicius Jr. was considered the player with the highest chance when winning the Champions League with Real Madrid. The Brazilian player is naturally very confident when entering the Copa America with the hope of regaining face for Seleca. Especially in the context of this South American team, not having the service of Neymar, although this is still considered a somewhat over-the-top task. Vinicius himself only scored three goals for Brazil after 30 appearances before the tournament took place. However, with his position and being the future star in the Los Blancos squad, Vinicius Jr. had the honor to bring himself a great responsibility. However, Brazil had a disappointing start when they drew goalless against Costa Rica. Vinicius himself was substituted in the 69th minute. But at least the Real Madrid star shone with a goal in the second leg of the group stage against Paraguay. A great thing if you know that Selecao was still playing extremely stuck. They also missed a penalty opportunity after Lucas Paqueta's effort. However, Vinicius's personality is always something that makes many people not admire this player. He didn't let his performances speak for themselves. Vinicius is often criticized for talking too much in matches. As a result, the striker received two yellow cards and was absent from the quarterfinals against Uruguay. From the position of just needing to win Copa America, the golden ball will definitely belong to Vinicius. He had to sit in the stands and watch Brazil lose on penalties. Brazil still played in deadlock and the opportunity to convince everyone that he is the next star of Selecao is temporarily set aside. Next is a player considered to be the successor after the Ronaldo Messi era. Kylian Mbappe. No need to argue too much about the talent of this player. The French star has officially announced to join Real Madrid next season and hopes to have a great debut at the Euro, having once shown on the World Cup stage when France won in 2018. Four years later, although unable to successfully defend the championship after losing on penalties in the final, but Mbappe also won the Golden Boot Award and has a total of 12 goals at the World Cup. But it seems that the French superstar wants to prove the saying, Euro is more difficult than the World Cup, so he played quite ambiguously. Not bad at this year's Euro. Up to now, Kylian Mbappe, although officially opened an account at the Euro, but it was just a finish from the penalty spot. The biggest mark that fans remember is probably his mask. France still has two more matches to win this silver button, Henry Delos. But it must be Kylian Mbappe himself who brings LeBlanc to this title. To convince everyone on the way to win the Golden Ball Award, not winning the Euro is not enough. Another character who is also considered the future of world football is Phil Foden. The Man City midfielder has had a great season. When the green half of Manchester won their fourth consecutive Premier League title, 2000-born player also showed his outstanding maturity, played more and became an indispensable factor in Pepper Cup duo. Premier League Player of the Season award is the clearest proof. Coming to the Euro, of course, Phil Foden will be the hope of Bukayo Saka, creating a destructive pair of wings on German soil. But what we witnessed was a collapse, nothing like the ball on the field. BF had to play too close to the edge, Foden was no longer himself in the shirt of eight things. The Man City midfielder also did not receive the necessary support from his wingers. When Kieran Chibure was arranged to play left back, played with the wrong foot, could not help Foden stretch the width of the people. Up to now the only mark that the Man City midfielder has left at Cairo 2024 is the yellow card. In the match against Slovenia, along with the Fajiban being rejected by VAR, another star who also had an impressive individual season despite the team not having a title is Hurricane. The Englishman was the leader of the European Golden Shoe Race last season. The 1993-born player is hoped to lead the national team as the captain of the team. However, the lackluster performance of the army led by Karis Saugat 
also led to a decline in the performance of the students. Hurricane, although he has scored two goals against Slovakia and Denmark, but against Switzerland in the quarterfinals, Hurricane Bermondic could only fire two shots and none of them were on target. Another, both a teammate of Hurricane and a teammate of Vinnie Jude Bellingham, perhaps brought a more acceptable performance. Midfielder Raymond Riggs also scored two goals, but they all had great significance. One goal helped England win three points in the opening match. One goal in the 90th plus 5th minute helped the home team avoid saying goodbye right in the round of 16. The 21-year-old himself twice won the Player of the Match award in those two matches. For the rest, Tony Cruz is considered the most stable. People think of a dream ending if he and the German team win the Euro right on their home ground. At this time, the golden ball may belong to Nuh. Eight, as a fully satisfying ending from the club to the national team. Tony Cruz did not bring too much stability, but people always feel his class through the numbers. However, Spaniards did not think so when they defeated Diamondstrap in the 119th minute. It's bitter, but that's football. With many scenarios, many hopes. But clearly, what we are witnessing, the moment. The owner of the golden ball this year could be a name that causes a lot of controversy. Overall, the current advantage is temporarily in favor of Julian Birmingham when Tuan An was still playing in the Euro. But if Tamsin misses the appointment again, the story of who will be worthy of this title still has no answer. Going back in the past, there were many years when it was very difficult for us to choose the winner of the Golden Ball 2019 was such a year Luan MSC won with 686 points, while Virtual Van Der ranked second with 679 points. The difference is only seven points between these two players, showing fierce competition and appreciation from experts and football journalists around the world. There have been many years when the Golden Ball competition was very close before 2000, typically in 1996, when Matias Sammer won 144 points, compared to Ronaldo's 143 points. In 1991, when Jean-Pierre Papin reached 141 points compared to 122 points of Dejan Savicevic. And in 1989 when Marco Van Basten had 129 points compared to 111 points of Franco Baresi. After 2000, there were years like 2010 with Luan MSC 22.65 cent, compared to Andres Iniesta 17.36 cent and Savi 16.48 cent. In 2006 with Fabio Cannavaro 173 points compared to Gianluigi Buffon's 124 points. In 2001 with Michael Noel 176 points compared to Raul Gonzalez 140 points in 2019. With Luan MSC 686 points compared to Virgil van Dijk's 679 points. However, sometimes there are races where people don't know who to choose as the owner of the golden ball. Typically Modric's 2018 season. Modric or naturally, but simply because no one is good enough to compete with him. Back to the present story, candidates like Vinicius, Birmingham, Mbappe or Harry Kane had a good start in the revealing shirt. But in the national team, no one showed a positive face. Even the most positive cases like Vinicius are still quite weak compared to previous Euro seasons of the Golden Ball candidates. For more than a decade, people have criticized Ronaldo and Messi for being a boring race. But now they have passed their peak and given way to a more talented young system. Then it seems that the next generation has not made us feel satisfied. It's understandable, because since Ronaldo and Messi appeared in this race, then our football standards are getting higher and higher. Fans are too familiar with the scene. These two talents score 40 to 50 goals each season. Even the fact that they were silent in one or two matches raised doubts about the decline in form of both. And now we look back at this season. Vinicius scored 24 goals and 11 assists for Real Madrid between the Royal Team won the Spanish Super Cup, La Liga and Champions League. If we take these numbers compared to the peak of Ronaldo and Messi, then it's useless. It's too difficult to get into the top three, let alone a race for the Ballon d'Or like 2024th a race for the Golden Ball title this year has caused a lot of controversy because everyone has their own weaknesses. Typically in major tournaments, Copa America and Euro Noon has a performance that really convinces fans. Mbappe only scored one goal, Birmingham and Lake Meech scored twice. But the gameplay of both England and France was extremely boring. This led to Atacris infant satisfaction in South America, Vinicius only shone in the 4-1 victory against Paraguay. 
goal in the remaining two matches of round 3D, Boon was invisible, even Brazil was eliminated right from the fourth round making Vinny's journey to the Ballon d'Or less convincing. Oh and of course Vinny must be the owner of the Golden Ball title. Overall 2024 is the year the Golden Ball will cause a lot of controversy because whoever wins will have their own doubts.